What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back at episode 273 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below, so you can check it out if you're interested, but we'll kick it off now. Episode 273. This episode sponsored by the Corsair Xenion Flex OLED Monitor. If you've ever been deciding between a straight monitor or a curved one, this is the best of both worlds, allowing you to physically bend your monitor. At 45 inches, the 3440 by 1440p display boasts a 240Hz refresh rate, and by using LG's OLED technology, you have a gorgeous display with a thousand nit brightness, burn-in protection, and motion blur canceling. All this packed into one Xenion Flex monitor. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description down below. First up today, we have Shapeum with the all black and white setup. This has this really like futuristic look. Something about the white LEDs really gives me that vibe. In a little point of detail, I like how the hexagon panels in the monitor for the wallpaper match the actual hexagon panels on the wall. All right, so hopping in and checking it out, his primary monitor is a Gigabyte Aorus 24 inch. It's a 240 hertz display with the vertical monitor on the left side being a 24 inch Acer at 165 hertz. For audio, he does have the Mackie CR3 speakers in white and also the Corsair Virtuoso RGB headset hanging off the side of the desk. Not pictured here, obviously, but keeping everything black and white. For his main peripheral setup, he has the Keychron V1 keyboard and also a custom G Pro X Superlight. He swapped the switches inside to GM 2.0s, added some glass skates underneath with some grip tape. Definitely a nice duo going on. Now we get to check out the gorgeous Thermaltake View 51 case. Really loving this build. Got a Ryzen 5800X CPU with an ID cooling RGB AIO, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an NZXT B550 motherboard with an Asus RG RTX 3080 GPU. Loving the aesthetic of the all black and white build here. Also in the setup, he has an LG 65 inch, this is the CX model, again the white entertainment center, more of those black hexagon panels, and that spanned wallpaper again, making it all just match aesthetically. Then in the entertainment center, got some nice uh, retro consoles here as a throwback, but man, this entire setup as a whole is so, so clean, really looks great, shape them, loving what you're doing man. Next up today, we have Maxis. This is looking real nice and cozy. You guys know I love when we have a nice wooden desktop like this. Those natural tones here, mix it in some green with the plants, the pegboard. Definitely a little bit cluttered on the desktop. There's like two of everything as you can see, but let's check it out. His primary display is a 34 inch Mi from Xiaomi. It is a 144 Hertz ultra wide. Got a monitor light bar on top as well, with the left vertical monitor being a Dell Ultra Sharp 27 inch. But down to a set of peripherals, like I said, got a dual sort of setup going on. With the Keychron V2 keyboard, he has Gateron yellows inside with the Apollo Cherry clone keycaps and the Logitech G Pro wireless. Also with a Logitech MX Master 3S and a ranked Nova 60 keyboard. But yes, the first two are his main. And I gotta say, I've been seeing a lot of these Keychrons lately. This V2 one is a fantastic build for the price. I always like checking out how people configure their pegboards. This here you can see um, has another keyboard on display, some switches, pictures, extra storage, things you can keep off the desk and up mounted on the wall. Taking a look over at the PC, this is the Cooler Master NR200P ITX case with a Ryzen 5 5600X CPU with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Cooler using some Noctua NF A12X15 Chromax fans, so blacking it all out inside. Asus ROG Strix B550i Gaming ITX motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM with an EVGA RTX 2060XC Ultra. And I gotta say, for an ITX build, it's still a lot of space in there. Little courtesy check on some cable management, pretty good for the most part. Yeah, there's still some, you know, cables hanging down, but it does seem to be off the floor, nothing too in the way. And again, considering all the stuff that's going on on the desktop, there's a laptop tucked in the back. The PC, the dual sets of everything, this is well organized, I'd say at the end of the day. But again, I'm loving all the tones, all the colors here. Everything is so aesthetically pleasing. And speaking of pleasing, Versari, 
this is definitely doing it. You guys know I love my stacked monitors. Always got a soft spot in my heart. This one looking great. Love the dark contrast again with the bright pop of teal when you have those hexagon panels behind it, RGB light strip behind the monitors and in the PC. Whew. All right, so for his displays, his primary is an ASUS RG Strix, a 27 inch, 170 hertz panel, with the overhead being an LG 27 inch. Yet again, we have the rise of the monitor light bar, substituting a desktop lamp. And for its peripherals, I swear, not sponsored by Keychron, but we have the Q1 Pro from Keychron. He's got some Dataron Oil King switches inside, super smooth, with a Razer Death Adder V2 Pro mouse on the Novel Keys and Random Frank P desk pad. Very nice, very nice. And then for some audio, the Creative Pebble speakers and a real desktop plant, not one of the fake ones you often see. So I'll give you some more props for that. Now we can throw it over to the Leon Lee O11 Dynamic Air mini case in black over on the left side of the desk. Don't typically see it over there, but it's definitely working. Inside's a Ryzen 9 5900X CPU with an NZXT Kraken Z53 AIO. 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB RAM on an NZXT B550, another repeat motherboard, with an RTX 3090 Founders Edition. But man, the all black and like blue and teal you got going on here with the setup and in this build, this looks stunning. Remember when these Founders Edition cards got released and everyone thought they looked so stupid, but now it's just like gorgeous. Just like this setup. Versari, this is a gorgeous setup gorgeous setup again i love the contrast here very dark and moody in the room with the just colors coming from the light panels like i said the rgb and we also have the rise of the slap panels over on the left side of the room tying those wooden tones in as well with i saw before like your closet door the floor the wooden wrist rest this is a really just cohesively perfect setup <laughs> all right it's not like minimal in the sense but it's also not overdoing it and it's not too much perfection now we've got james t with the very rgb setup going on and i say that obviously because of you have those white geometric wall panels and then just the splash of rgb behind the desk in the pc the peripherals making it just look more bright very bright overall. The whole entire room is pretty much outlined in LEDs as well. Behind the TV even over on the right side of this massive sort of makeshift L-shaped desk. Lots going on. Lots going on. So really nicely mounted. He has two AOC monitors. They're an AOC 34 inch 144 hertz panel. And obviously the benefit of having those wall panels lets him hide cables and route things more efficiently without it hanging down as you can see here. Nice and organized. So for the actual peripheral setup, you have the Razer Black Widow X Chroma Keyboard with the SteelSeries Rival 5. This is the Destiny Edition, and we're just getting started there because we also have the Destiny Edition of the SteelSeries Quick Extra Large RGB Mousepad with the uh, Katana Sound Blaster X for his soundbar. And some Destiny figures in the PC, as well as on the AIO. Very creative, very creative. Inside the Fantex Enthu Evolve X case. Love that when it came out. We have a Ryzen 9 5950X CPU with an NZXT Kraken Z73 AIO. 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM with an MSI RTX 3080 Supreme GPU. Lots of RGB in the PC, and check out the love for Destiny over on the other side of the room on the wall. Got those spanning wall prints, the box set, some more collectibles, even some more RGB. Man, oh man. So for the PS5 there, as you can see, that's a TCL 55-inch uh, 4K TV. So get some PC gaming done, kick back over on your right, get some console gaming done on the PS5. Man, oh man. Lots and lots of gear going on in this setup and a lot of love to Destiny from James. Now for this next feature spot, we're going to toss it to an up and coming YouTuber, Sam, to show off his setup. What up guys, it's Sam and welcome to my office setup. As you've been seeing, we have quite a bit to get through, so let's get started. My current desk is a standing desk from Uplift. It's a very nice, sleek, walnut look and I love the fact that I can adjust the height to stand and do work. However, you are more likely to catch me sitting on this gaming chair from Ikea. I still don't know how to say it. I'll get there soon. It's been coupled up with this couch from Ikea as well, and the colors are the same, so they match pretty well. 
My ergonomic combo of the keyboard and mouse are the Keychron 2 and the Deluxe mouse. On top of my desk, I have the Grove Made Desk Shelf, which holds a couple of things. It includes my Google Home, Lightbar Remote, T'Challa, and a flight levitating bulb, which I think is by far the coolest accessory I have in my set. My monitor of choice is the LG 49 inch. This beast of a monitor is great for gaming, editing, and most importantly, Netflix. It's been held up by this mount by Wally, which helps me adjust pretty well. The screen has been lit up by this light bar by LIFO, and I can easily change the custom settings on the remote to fit the mood of the office. The Blue Yeti has been my ride or die for the past five years, and I've had these monitors for the same amount of time. My computer is the CyberPower PCR7. It has the Ryzen 7 5000 series processor model and comes with the Radon RX 6600 XT graphics card. Additionally, it has HDD and SSD storage type for optimal gaming performance. That was a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, I have a neon light and a charging station right next to my desk setup, uh, which give a little bit of style to it. I love this power strip because of its tetrahedral shape and its RGB settings, and this IKEA plant because plants are cool. And finally, these wooden cable management boxes, which do an amazing job of hiding the cables, but also complementing the rustic look of the office. And there you have it, my complete office setup. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. So, all right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 273 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Shout out to Sam for his 2023 setup. I'll have his link in the description down below so you can check out his channel, as well as all the gear and hardware today. If you saw anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered being a future episode of Room Tour Project. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.